Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Um, I was part of there and I'm part of the community in that area. And I have a son that's in prison. He hasn't been to uh, court yet. He's been in there almost a year. So, uh, and, and no communication, like they said. And the thing about the prison system is that it's just a continuation of the racism in this country. It's the new Jim Crow. The prison industrial system is on the stock market. And a lot of people are getting rich by incarcerating our people. It doesn't matter whether they're white, Asian, black, Chinese, anything. Because everything that goes in that prison, someone has to stop it, whether it's the cops, the trays for the lunch, uh, everything. I mean, somebody's producing that, so they're making money. So it's to the rich cats, uh, for them to have people in prison. So they have like a, a, a sometimes like a, a certain amount they have to keep. I mean, they're still building prisons out in the, the boondock somewhere. And these communities that aren't making money, they make money because they're getting a, a prison built there. Now, we talk about uh, the money in Rhode Island and the Providence or whatever, and all these different states. Do you have any idea how much these people at prison are getting paid for having prisoners? So we could save a hell of a lot of money if they weren't in there. Not to mention the fact that it's demoralizing. It's taking a lot. Anything that affects, when it comes to prison situations, it affects the, the people who don't have money. It affects our communities. We have a loss of people. If the people have children, they go into DCYF. So the people in prison don't get anything out of this. It's systematically, and it's the new Jim Crow. Just read Michelle Alexander's book. It's the new Jim Crow. It's systematic, and they call it from playground to prison network. So this is what, this is the whole thing. This is systematically designed so that certain people be in prison and take away their lifestyle. I mean, that money could go into education. But even if there weren't prisoners, we know it wouldn't go into education anyways because it would go in somebody's pocket. So, I mean, I'm, I'm here to work and do as much as I can, whether or not my son's in there or not. Because this is just immoral. It's definitely immoral. And it's, it's, it's like we're in a what they call a third world country. But we are a third world country now. We are absolutely a third world country. We have no doubts about that. But here we are here wearing masks. Next they're gonna tell us when we can go to the stores, make us stay at home. Believe me, this is a, a this is very systematic. And they want to depopulize the people, especially the poor people. So don't think that doesn't include you. They want to depopulize the world. And this thing with COVID is one example of that. So, like I said, I I feel very passionate about this and I'm glad that I saw that someone sent me a message that they were having this today. And, and I appreciate it. And I hope we can all get involved because don't think that it can't be you driving down the street and all of a sudden you get pulled over. Yeah, because you look like somebody else. Or or maybe you they thought you were talking on your phone. You get pulled over and the and, and next thing you know, you could be in jail. We're dead. I went to visit I went to visit someone in prison. Yeah. We're and dead. Thank yeah. God we're, we're dead. dead. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. The, 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 guy, the guard had seen me out there so much that when I went to leave because I couldn't get in, he said, you have a warrant out for you. And now if, if somebody else had taken my information, they would have called the state troopers and I would have went to jail for the weekend. So like I said, it, it, it could be any of us. It could be any of us. So I had to go Monday, go down to the police station and take care of that. But if it had worked out any other way, and it's only because I have Yahua looking out for me. My God, taking care of me is the reason why Amen. I didn't go to jail for the weekend. Yeah. Because that would have really messed my weekend up. Because nobody wants to be in prison, including the people in prison. 
So uh, I, I think we have to get some kind of committee where we have to either uh, send letters to the Attorney General and we need to get these people out because it's costing too much money. Because they claim each prisoner is costing $60,000 a year at least to house a prisoner. Now I could house a few people for $60,000. So I don't know where those numbers come from. But the, the, the ACI guys, they have something they call the $200,000 club, which means they make $200,000 a year doing overtime. So we, they come, there's a whole lot going on that I can't even think of right now, but thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you.